Hi, today I will be reading The Radiant Child, the story of a young artist. Alright, let's get into it. So, it starts. Somewhere in Brooklyn, between hearts that thump, double dutch, and hopscotch, the salty mouths that slurp sweet ice, a little boy dreams of being a famous artist. In this house, you can tell a serious artist dwells, as he sits at his table with pens and pencils scattered everywhere. John Michael draws from morning until night with a serious face amid storms of papers. He refuses to sleep until he has created a masterpiece. At night, images enchant John Michael's mind, and he wakes up from his dreams to add one more line. His drawings are not neat nor clean, nor does he color inside the lines, but they are sloppy, ugly, and sometimes weird, but somehow still beautiful. So beautiful. His art comes from his mother, Natalide, a Puerto Rico woman who designs and sews, cooks and cleans, and makes the house look like a stylish magazine. But most important, she lies on the floor and draws the Shawn Michael on his father's old book papers. From her, he learns that art is not only in poetry books she reads to him, or in the theaters or museums that they visit. Art is the street games of little children, in our style and the words that we speak. It is the messy patchwork of the city that creates new meaning for ordinary things. Art is everywhere. While visiting the museum, they look at his favorite works of art. Reading the story behind each artist, reading the story behind each work, this is how John Michael learns what it means to be a famous artist. Back at home, he creates art on the floor as his father, Gerald, plays a jazz record. Mama Matilde cooks a rose con Paolo and calls Jean Michael Mi Amour. The energy and the life of the city can be felt in each line of his drawings. As time goes by, Jean Michael learns that art has a healing power. After a car accident, he is scared and confused. Matilde gives him a book to comfort his fears. It is filled with pictures of bones and skulls and other body parts. John Michael draws from it until he knows it all by heart. He is no longer afraid. At home, Jean Michael's body heals, but his heart breaks. His mother's mind is not well, and the family breaks. She no longer lies on the floor and draws with Jean Michael, but sits by the window, singing only to birds. Jean Michael is confused and filled with terrible blues when Matilde can no longer live at home. He tries drawing the terrible out of his blues, but things are not the same. As Jean Michael grows older, he visits his mother when he can, always bringing his artwork to show, telling her that one day, when it will be in the museums, when I am a famous artist.
A teenager now, Jean Michael decides, Papa, I will be very, very famous one day. With a sly look and a twinkle in his eye, Jean Michael leaves Brooklyn for the New York City, the Lower East Side, a concrete jungle where only the tough survive. During the day, dressed in a green jumpsuit splattered with paint, Shawn Michaels stays with friends, sleeping on couches and floors, leaving a barrage of colleges and bone for papers everywhere he goes. At night, Shawn Michaels spray paints the walls downtown with poems and drawings that catch the eye of artists, gallery goers, and passerbys. Under, he, under his art, he signs the name Simone instead of John Michael. Everybody wants to know, who is Simone? Simone moves from the street corners to an art gallery walls with powerful color composition and line, collaging and painting on anything that he can find. His art is still not neat nor clean, and definitely not inside the lines, but somehow still beautiful. With his magical charm, Jean Michel draws a crowd, but when it's time for work, he prefers to be alone, with the radio and TV on full blast. Now in an expensive suit and splattered with paint, he flips through stacks of magazines and open books, and paints into the night and sometimes for days at a time, while sounds and images jump into his head. Sean Michael, an artist among artists, never doubts one line, creating a soundtrack that is all his own. People describe him as radiant, wild, a genius child, but in his heart, he is king, so he draws a crown from himself and others that he admires. A grown man now with the art in his hands, John Michael still visits his mother when he can. And at his most important shows, above all the critics, fans, artists he admires, is the place of honor his mother's, a queen on the throne. He is now a famous artist! The end. John Michael became the famous artist that he knew he could be. Thank you.